Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Saturday morning? Well, I hope we got to get ourselves some Kenshi in here, which hopefully you can all hear the music of. And yes, of course, it's being run through. Say it with me now, YouTube. Oh, yeah, it's just a pack of cannibals. Okay. Okay, so everyone out here. Stop worrying about your jobs. Come over here. That's what you want. You can try to get on this thing. Okay, it seems to be actually firing. Oh, the gate's just open? Uh, oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, they just let him in. Alright. I'll just run away. Man those turrets early? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have time. They, they spawned basically on top of us. Wow, Dead State Doug's really having a time with his, like, turning radius. Alright, well, we got away. Dead State Doug is having, again, still the time here, actually, but... Just coming up with the rest of the crew, I guess. Dead State Doug, what are you doing? Are you just carrying a bunch of stuff? You're not even carrying anything. Why are you moving so slowly? What are you doing? If you get a, if you get a robots, I usually put them on a turret all the time. Oh, a robot? Yeah. All right. Dead State Tug's having a really hard day, apparently. Or a hybrid with full wooden backpack. Okay, everybody, just run away, please. Why are we moving so slow? There is no reason. Everyone just drop all your stuff, or whatever. Why are we moving so slow? Is there something wrong with Dead State Doug? I don't understand why he's like moving extra slow. What are you guys doing? Just keep running. We're faster than them. Okay. Mighty can head against Cannibal Country has ended. That's great. I mean, we're still actively being chased by a couple, but... I'm confused on why some of these guys seem to be as fast as us. Run away! Run away! Huh. resource over there. but they're not under attack, but then suddenly they're under attack again, and but they're not?
Then it used to be odd. That's what I'm saying. Oh, there's like one cannibal still in the pack with us for some reason. So apparently we're faster than all the cannibals except one. Oh no, I think he just left. Okay. Okay, now there's just... Oh nope, they left. Okay, all the cannibals I think gave up now? Yeah, that one spawned like on top of us. Usually, the last time they warned us, they were really far away. It says there's still some here. Uh, just like medic. Oh, you left your med kits in the backpacks. Of course you did. All right, that's fine. We'll just head over here and grab our backpacks. Man, once I figure out this crossbow system and why it's not working, uh, hopefully then it'll make some amount of sense. Also, the doors. The doors didn't seem to work very well either. All right, large backpack, one backpack, one backpack, one backpack, and you get the other large backpack. Dead State Doug, you get all of the iron, please. Apparently Dead State Doug can't pick up iron. Okay, well, Flashbox, if you'd like to get all the raw iron, since you have a backpack that stacks, we can trade. Or not. Who, wait, who just picked up all the iron? Why would you put that in your inventory and not in the backpack? I don't understand. <laughs> Do they just work better if you put them on walls? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, if this just isn't gonna work because it turns out like they're bugged if they're not on a wall, well, that's fine. Okay, did we get everything? Is everyone medic? Okay, everyone's medic. Showing. It still says there's a bunch of them here, but. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them, like, stuck on the wall? Or something? I mean, they'll work, but just less effectively, and they probably have less visible targets. Uh. Also, I don't understand why these doors didn't work. Was locked and kept out intruders, but it didn't. It didn't do that even at all. They just ran in. Both doors are set to be locked, and it, they didn't actually do any of that. Huh. No, don't lock the door. That's not what I want. Do you close them or keep them open? I didn't manually close them, if that's what you mean. Because when it says it's locked, it won't let people in. I assume it'll just shut if someone shows up, right? Huh. You have to manually close it. Oh, jeez. All right. Huh. There's a bunch of cannibals just stuck on these walls. And they're not, like, attacking us or moving. Weird. I mean, I guess this is a good time to, like, practice some sneaking? Hold on, hold on. What is this doing? Yeah, her stealth is going up because we're so close to so many cannibals. Apparently they can see through these walls okay, though? Wow, 
Wow, with this system, we might actually be able to max out uh, Jesus' stealth or something. I'm very curious how these cannibals got onto these walls and why they're not coming off of them. Cannibal walls? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, I guess if nothing else, we might be able to use them as target practice once we get back into the town for the crossbows just to practice on? Clipping issues happens all the time. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, stealth is still going up, I guess. Slowly, but it is going up. Alright, we can just practice a boatload of stealth right now. Wait, how much are we on food? Okay, some people still have plenty of food. Alright, yeah, we still have plenty of food. We just dance outside to practice our stealth. Don't spend too long without looking at your base. If you ever make two separate teams, then we'll just clip through all the walls. Oh no, we're right outside of our, our base. But yeah, we'll keep that in mind that, that they can clip through walls. Don't spend too long without looking at your base. If you ever make two separate teams, then they'll just clip through all the walls. Gotcha. That's actually kind of interesting. It can clip onto walls that are, like, locked. And then we could just practice crossbowing them for crossbow experience? I mean, I guess under this logic, we could build another wall, like, or another door over here? And then when they try to break into this door, we can just keep pelting them with crossbows? Huh. How much actual progress have we made? Wow, we're up to 93. Okay. 87, 83. Hobbs is up to 84 stealth? What? How is their stealth so high? Did I have them practice that much stealth already? <laughs> oh my god. I didn't think it was that high yet. Dang, we have a whole squad of super ninjas running around. Oh my god, okay. Wait, what is what is Dead State Doug's? Dead State Doug's stealth is an 87. Wow. Assassin uh, Ninja Bull. This is insane. Must have been a win. Seriously, must have been the wind as a full-size bull loaded with equipment sneaks behind them. I wonder... Okay, so this is clearly working. Like, this isn't even subtly working. This is very clearly working. As we just build stupid amounts of stealth right now. Like... Like, this guy, we might... Well, we don't have any... <laughs> we don't have any ladders built for these walls. So this guy might just be stuck? Wait, can we... Okay, hold on. Someone, can you practice, like... An assassination? No. Okay, so it's too far away. Any of these guys like close enough to the edge of the wall though that we could assass practice assassinating? Welcome to the team, Mr. Campbell. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay, can you like assassinate this this person? Attack target, stealth KO. Oh wait, stealth KO them? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh 
back to normal. Because there's a percentage chance. Which to me implies that there's actually I guess it's not working though, right? Yeah, they're not actually attempting it, so it's not working. Okay. Stealth should still be working though. Which is actually kind of hysterical. Also, wait, are these Mark I crossbows? Yeah, it just says mounted crossbow, so yeah, I guess it's Mark 1. This is sort of crazy here. Okay, so where's the 95? <laughs> oh my, wait, what? How is Dead State Doug at 97 now and Jesus is only at 95? What? Is his stealth going up faster than everybody else's? That doesn't make any sense. Am I reading the wrong stat? Move around undetected. No, he's at a 97. Why is his going up faster than everybody else's? Is Doug an elder? Um, yes, yes, he is an elder. Is that what it is? He's got like an XP bonus from, from being an elder? Absolute insanity right here. They get a skills, the stats a skill bonus for everything. Wow, apparently a fantastic one too. Yeah, he's gonna be maxed out on stealth in a second. What? Which is, weird to think of? Yeah, he's at 99. Wow. I think they can go above 100. <laughs> wow, okay, so Dead State Doug is just going to be the leader of the assault troops in regards to stealth, huh? When we just attack a town in stealth, Dead State Doug is going to lead the way with his 125 stealth capability? This is insane. I wonder if I'll get an achievement for getting a skill to 100. Is, that a, is there achievements in this module? Wow. No achievements? Aw, oh, boo! Earn, or, or put some achievements in there. Come on. Make them all spoilery ones, though, so you know you don't give anything away. But you can put some achievements in there. Recruit Hobbs, or like find Hobbs at two different locations in the course of two different plays. Okay, it's Dead State Doug now at 100. He's at 101! It's true, it's happening, team. It's happening. 93, 94. Wait, how are Hobbs and Soman higher than Digna and Flashbox now? What? How do they have more XP? That doesn't make any sense. They only need a beep achievement, but I won't say who that is. Oh, okay. Gotcha. This is... We're probably good on stealth practice, right? We're probably good on stealth practice. He's at a 97, that's probably enough stealth. Because we're now like the stealthiest people in stealth town, especially at night. I wanna make my way in town and see what happens. Okay, so, hey Zeus, I want you to get on one of these flashbox. Digna. What happens if you guys get onto these things? 
Okay, they're just straight up shooting them. Okay. Can okay, so no one can actually reach them. Yeah, so they can't actually be reached for some reason. Okay. Also, we're not shooting at the other ones, which is odd. Because you can see them, right? For some reason, apparently, these are too far away to be shot at or something? Aiming? I... huh. Yeah, apparently these won't shoot... shoot these guys? Shoot at. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, shoot at this guy? like a stealth problem? Is that what it is? Okay, now they're shooting at him. Okay, well, that happened. Someone, would you please go collect their gear? What are you guys doing? Get back on the crossbows. Why did you guys get off of the crossbows? What is happening? Okay, are we still fighting stuff or not? Okay, they're actively shooting at them now. What did you just pick up? A goat? Where did a goat come from? Why is there a goat on top of my walls? And how... How did you get it? Why is there a goat up there? Uh, what? Let me come around over here. Can you loot them from this side? Oh, you can. Wait, you can just run over to this wall from here? But why didn't the cannibals... Oh... Okay. I'm so confused. Okay, I need you three to, like, shoot at this. Oh, he fell off. He fell off. We can actually go get that then. So, yeah, they won't auto attack these things for some reason, which is really weird. I have to order them to fire, like, directly? Okay, I guess you can't see that one? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely bad shots. Can't confirm that. Um, all right, Hobbs, you two come over here real quick. Can you, like, finish harvesting the plants or something? I don't want the plants to go bad while we're messing around with... with whatever this is we're doing. Okay, that's another one. Why are you getting off the crossbows? Oh, do I have to, like, put you on crossbow or something? Do I have to assign you each to your own do crossbow duty? Is that the problem? Turret guard. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
So, Digna, I want you to do this crossbow. I want you to stop with this stuff for the second and do that one. And then I want you to, yeah, to do that one. And fire at him. Thank you. Oh, this guy's only unconscious. Oh! Oh, he got some air! Oh, he didn't fall off, though. Oh, this one's getting up. Just attack him. <laughs> if they start getting up, just punch them. What? 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 Attack target? Oh, he went down again. <laughs> okay. Just take his weapon away from him so he's less threatening. On this guy? Apparently, Digna can't see them for some reason. Oh, that guy just took off running. Like, double speed. That. Alright. Okay, can you three fire at this guy? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming we're just getting a bunch of turret practice from this, right? Picking up c corpses slash KO things usually ignores height difference. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, maybe that's what I can do then. Hold on. Uh, pick up cannibal? Nah, she won't pick him up either. Oh, oh, wait, wait, we got that one. We got that one. Okay. That actually worked? That actually worked. All right. Good call, Ika. Good call. Put them down. Or they'll just bounce off into the ether. Got it. Uh, pick up. Well, apparently we can't pick that one up. Can't pick that one up. Can't pick that one up. Can we pick this one up? No, we can't pick that one up either. That's how they he grabbed the goat. Oh, okay. That guy's dying. That guy's dying. That guy's dead. Blood loss KO. Unconscious for a bit. Just a smidge of time. What happens if I attack target with you? You just stand down here, okay. Can you three fire on these guys? I wonder if having you... Oh, no, 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 Get back on the crossbows. Keep firing on them. I meant Soma. Soma, can you stand as close as possible to them? That way they also get, like, accuracy practice, since you're standing close. Why there was an unconscious goat there? <laughs> it's a different question I don't have the answer to. Yeah, I mean, they probably somehow attacked it from, like, above or something. Oh, we dropped, he dropped a goat. Okay. Can you pick him up? No, apparently you can't. Okay. Can you pick up the goat? Nope, you can't pick up the goat either. Alright, you three, please fire on on this one? I don't understand why they're not auto-attacking. They're clearly hostile. Okay, maybe they're out of range? Too bad you can't adopt this goat? No, the goat's dead. The, de the goat is 100% dead. Okay, we can shoot that guy. Turret's eight? Oh, turret skill's eight. Okay, well, I guess our turret skill is going up then. Every time we fire, I'm guessing? Ooh, we got that guy. Oh, he fell! Oh, he fell off! He fell off. We can get that one. We can get that guy. Let's go. Fire at this guy. This is absolutely silly. Okay. Do you? Okay, you harvested. Mobs, I need you to just collect all the cacti. I'm gonna go back to harvesting it. 
Okay, can you, like, get water or something? Are these plants watered? It looks like they're actively growing, so I guess they're fine. Okay, good. It looks like we took care of the other one, too. Even if it was alive, we couldn't unless we got a mod. Yeah, that's that's fine. Wow, all right. So, I mean, at least we have a really bizarre, broken way to get, like... Oh, we can actually control them in real time. That's fun. All right, well, that happened, everybody. Hobbs, I guess, come back over here. All right, I need you three to get off the turrets for the moment. since the immediate threat is over. All right, so what are we doing here? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I gotta figure out what do we got for actual resources right now. Okay, we need to research hemp, electrical components, a bunch of building material. Give that to, try, trade that with Dead State Doug. Let's just give him all this stuff for the moment. Uh, first aid kits, I guess, too. It's fine. Let's just organize this a bit. These aren't worth much, but we can take them into town and sell them. Oh, these are actually 324. These are actually worth decent money. I guess because these aren't off of scrawny cannibals? Huh. Also, I don't think we have the ability to build ladders. Now that I think about it. Which is, is its own kind of funny problem. Oh wait, so I'm gonna come over here real quick. Can you pick up, can you pick this guy up since you can't loot him? Oh no, we did loot them, okay. And take that weapon also. Um, just pick them up and then come drop them off over here. No ladders, but if you if your walls are long and straight, you can build stairs up to them. Oh, okay. Oh, we hit a double. We split the double. That's fun. Okay. Uh, no, I want to pick up this cannibal. Can you not pick up the cannibal? Huh. Apparently you can't pick them up, but we could loot them, which is different. All right. All right, so everybody, I, I guess, back to iron making? <laughs> I don't know. I think we need to just get a bunch of stone going right now. And then we can go back into town and buy books and food, since we're getting kind of low on food and books. Uh, I guess. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's have... Wait, how many people can work on these? Okay, it's just one each. Oh, okay, that's actually fine. So... Soman, you can get on this one. Homs, you can get on this one. And then... Digna, you three can come out here and just probably work on that. And then, oh wait, what are those? Wait, what are you? What are you? There's bone dogs. Injured bone dogs are coming. Hold on, everyone back to your positions. Uh, Digna. Wait, wait, okay, all three of you back up here. And like, what the dog doing? Shut the gate. 
I don't know. That's the question. I think they're coming in here to eat the bodies. Hold on. Uh, I need you to do this. I need you to be on this one in the middle. And I need you to be on that one. Digna. Oh, no. Nope. They're just running by. Digna apparently got stuck in the gate or something. Okay, no, they were just running by. Harmless bone dogs who were not coming to eat the bodies that we left inside of this middle area. <sighs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, you two are at your job. Okay. Alright, come over here and just get us a bunch of high quality uh, iron, please. Wait, who's being attacked? Wait, wait, wait. How did we get attacked? Oh, is it like these cannibals here? Wait, 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 wait. Can you fight them? You can... No. Okay, you can't fight them. Okay. Alright, never mind. If you get your own dog, they can eat the limbs they, that come off of people. <laughs> They get zoomies with them. <laughs> that's that's pretty amazing. I can appreciate that. Okay, so okay now, dead state Doug. How close can you walk over here? Now the question becomes, what all can dead state Doug actually pick up from there? Okay, we got that. Not that. Oh, it's too far out of range. Unfortunate. Alright. Um, okay, maybe I can move Dead State Doug, like, over here real quick. Is that close enough? No. Okay, that's close enough. Me three, just get back to to mining this, please. Machine is not full. I actively cleaned it out for you. But from here, can Dead State Doug now reach this one? Oh, you can. Okay, great. So Dead State's Doug, giant long arms Doug here can actually reach all of all three of these without moving, which is fantastic. Question is, can I find an area where I can see all three to click on them to like retrieve stuff from them? I can. Okay, great. Doug is a master of many things. Yeah. His incredible his incredible uh, ninja skills mixed with his incredibly long bull arms apparently allows him to reach and move at speeds and and, and silentness that's never been seen before. Which is a odd thing to say, but apparently is the truth. What are, do we need to water plants when it rains? Is that a thing we need to worry about? I don't know, with, the, with this module, I don't trust it to be a thing, but it could be a thing. Okay, going, it's going well so far. What time is it? Okay, great. Just load up like this. I think, yeah, Flashbox has got the rest of the food. Maybe once it gets morning, we'll head back into town. Wow, watching the rain come down like this almost causes it to go in reverse. It's going so fast. Which is sort of trippy.
This isn't a terrible spot to build a... a town. It's just we gotta figure out our defensive stuff. You just gotta figure out the, the defensive stuff. Each one of these is what? 72. I think it was 75 a piece. So when it's 75, it's 3. 375. So 3. 6, 9, 12, 15. 15 18. 21. 24. 25. Or no. 24. 21. 24. 27. At least one of these is double that. So we've got like a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff here. That should be enough to buy some more fish and some books. I would think. Also, I guess we need to... Well, we can research hemp when we get back. Triple speed on a high high efficiency with three very experienced laborers. You can really just pump out that raw iron. If only we had a good way of getting a hold of uh, ancient science books. I mean, I think we would need, what, like five of them total? What time is it? Okay, we're in the middle of the night, so in the morning we're going to leave. Back to town. Plenty of money for stuff to sell for cash. And they don't even have light over here. This is just in the darkness they're able to mine like this. Definitely need to learn how to cook and then get the stove built. But I need books to, uh, to do uh, desert cooking. So we can start living off of dust witches. Do you have a mongrel on your map? Yes, we do. We 100% do. But it's in the middle of this, the, the dangerous uh, smoke area, right? The fog area? Plenty of money when we get back to town. Now, if we can only figure out how to process this copper efficiently, then we'd really be in it. I mean, we have copper, and this place does great for farming. And we're next to the ocean, so if fishing was a thing, we could also fish. Not with your stealth? Oh, okay. You mean 100 stealth? Like, unnaturally capable stealth is, is good enough to sneak through an area? <laughs> I mean, at nighttime, we are very difficult to detect unless we're, like, actively touching the thing that we're worried about seeing us. Okay, Dead Snake Doug is real loaded up with stuff. Okay, sun's coming up. We won't do it, believe it's six. We'll call six morning time or whatever. Okay, six o'clock. We'll grab what's what's available. And then everybody, I need you all to meet up. 
and we'll be leaving. To go sell all this stuff, buy a bunch of books. <laughs> we'll leave these like two or three random cannibals on the walls. Have fun, guys. <laughs> Let's make our way back to town. In module lore, it's a place of, like, rebirth slaves run to. Although, so long as you can run around 20 miles per hour, you're fine. Oh, okay. I, how do you determine that? Okay, run speeds. Yeah, I mean, we're running 22 without assistance. We're getting a bonus from something? From our armor and stuff. So, yeah, we're all right. Maybe not take Dead State Doug. Maybe just like, maybe just like Jesus and Soman go or something. Maybe we just do that. See. Now this, once we get over here, is much more dangerous than over on this side of the of the bay. Wait, what is this? Is this something? Oh, no, it's just like weird plant growth. Never mind. Because we've run into way more hostile things over on this side of the of the bay than we have on our side of the bay. Other than the cannibal raiding parties occasionally, of course, but that was to be expected. So, wait, what is that? That is, oh, it's a party of cannibals, okay. That's fine. We should be far enough away, I don't think they'll see us. And we'll be definitely fast enough that they shouldn't be a problem. The only thing that's really going to be a problem is if this town gets wiped out at some point. Just pick up Doug, he's probably fast enough. But the animals all turn slow? Weird. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Let's see, what is, what is this over here? Oh, those are cannibal hunters. Okay. Oh yeah, they have a dog with them. I don't think the bandits even have dogs, usually. We've almost reached civilization. Almost. Oh. Wait, what are you? Cannibals? Cannibal hunters? Bandits? It's a bunch of hungry bandits. A bunch of hungry bandits. What's our health looking like? Everyone... Everyone's healthy. I usually end up carrying my pets around most of the time. It's just faster that way. Even giant crabs and such. I didn't even know that was an option for a pet, but that's awesome. Okay. These are just river raptors, and that's those aren't a threat, really. Right? Oh no, these are bone dogs? Oh no, these are goats. These are goats. Okay. Halfway attempted to fight these scrawny cannibals, or the, the hungry bandits. So I think you've got all our food, right? Yeah, we don't have much food on us. The only problem is, is it's only XP. They don't drop anything worth anything. Like, I'm, I'm better off fighting the goats just so I can get food from them for free. Okay, looks like we ate the last of our fish, which is actually fine. Okay. Nothing to value here, Drifter. The only metal that can keep up with Max Athletics Robo Legs is an Elder Beast beak thing, but can't you can't tame them and you can't give your pets Robo Legs, so yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. Oh, does this guy not have any books? Seriously? Oh, I thought this guy would have books. Where are your books at? Oh, I do need this wheat straw, though. Uh, how much is this? 40 
bucks. Oh, come on. Someone flashbox. Seriously? No. Put this there. Put that in there. There we go. That way we have a bunch of wheat straws so we can build larger wheat things when we get back. Commonly used to make fabrics and clothing. Okay. Not really worried about that right now. I'm worried about food more than anything. I was really hoping this guy had books on him, though. That's actually really annoying that he doesn't. I guess we could sell him some stuff. He yeah, has 74 bucks a pop. Ninety-two percent better. Okay. Yeah, I thought that guy had books. I really, really did. At least the bar has lots of food. Wild looking adventurers come running in here. Let's take that and probably carry it. Wow, that didn't take a lot of money, but that's okay. Their speed is listed at 58.94 miles per hour on the wiki. Wow, yeah. That's like cheetah levels of speed for the... Are you talking about for the beak things? Or are you talking about your character once they have robot legs? All right, well, at least we have plenty of, of, of that stuff. Um, yeah, we'll just keep the first aid kits. Oh, I forgot about these things. I forgot about the, the swords. There we go. Get some more money. Alright, so I guess we'll have to head back to World's End if we actually want to buy books. So, beak things. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like fastest land animal speeds. That's a nightmare. Oh my god. That's that's really not cool. Okay, um, I'm just gonna see something. Trade. So maybe you all of that. Trade with them. Just give them all to them. Look at that to them. And all the left components for now. Okay, great. Put the bandages back into their main inventory. So if we drop our bags, you're out of bandages, you're out of bandages, you're out of bandages, and you're out of bandages. Okay. So you get a full bandage, and you can have a nearly full bandage. You can have a nearly full bandage. You get a full a nearly full bandage, and you've got bandages. Okay, great. Because this way, if they drop their backpacks, we still have bandages for the post-fight cleanup on everybody. There we go. That makes sense to me. We should have plenty of food. For a while. Thanks to all that fish. Hobbs isn't even doing jobs. Oh, we actually have... I didn't realize we even had some more iron. That's fine. We can just hold it until we get back to the other town. Have to remember to research some cooking before we leave. 
Imagine you're trudging through the desert, then an eyeless giraffe thing bigger than an elephant comes out of nowhere, smashes the ground so fast with its beak that your legs blast off <laughs> from the impact, and it starts eating you alive, and it's as fast as a cheetah? Yeah. That would be pretty harrowing. You're not wrong, bud. You are not wrong. Are you? Hold on. Oh, it's Ceres the Tech Hunter. Now the question is, do Tech Hunters actually head to places where tech can be found, or do they just wander the map like in a generic patrol? Ooh, cannibal. They just wander? Okay. Be right back and I get some Mexican food? Oh yeah. Now tonight I am I'm having lasagna. Lasagna. I'll be doing the Italian food. Or so so I'm to understand. Oh, can camp cannibal hunters. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I was really confused there for a second, I'm like wait what? But no no, we're good. Alright, yeah, we'll head back up. Plenty of food. So that's good to know that the way the, the walls are built, we can actually potentially um, glitch people onto those walls and they get stuck up there and they're not able to get down. Which means... Wait, where is... Sona? Soman, what are, what are you doing? No, you also need to be heading up here. What's wrong with you? Where did she go? I swear if someone gets herself, like, lost and dead, I'm going to be very upset with her. Okay. All right. We're back, everybody. We're back. Okay. Welcome. Have a browse. Let's trade. Ooh. Armor plating, specifically. Uh, electrical components is always nice. And we're going to need a bunch of books. We'll do 10 for now. Oh, this is actually just flat out copper? Not copper ore, I guess. Oh, I thought I had to process this. Well, if that's the case, I guess it would have been better for us to just do large windmills. I didn't think, I thought copper had to be processed, so I figured I needed a couple more upgrades for my processing units, but if we can just use copper to make windmills, then uh, maybe we just do that, because we get all the copper we need. Uh, we are going to need more wheat, I think, though. I think you need like 40 to make a large farm? Yeah, we'll do it that way, thanks. That's exactly what I wanted, thank you so much. We could buy cactus. What's this? This is a random furniture blueprint. Not interested, thank you, though. Okay, head over here. Technically, this house is open to the public, so other people could come in here and use our equipment if they wanted. Which I'm not opposed to. Okay, so we need to do this, and who has the books? Who has the books? There's the books, okay. Books go into the research device. Uh, show research. So, medium building shell. L house, long house, and bug house, okay. Science book, engineering research, which is something we don't have. Ooh, that's how we get the watchtowers, the large building shells. Okay. We also get a step house and a station house. Snail house and a Y house. Crafting, composite runner, basic first aid kits. Hemp-based fabric, sounds interesting, but farming, we needed to do... Is it baking? 
desert cooking. We need to do desert cooking. Um, Gohan meat wrap, baking, flour storage, bread basket, grain silo, bread oven. We should probably do this if we're going to be doing wheat straw. Because we can make that into... Probably do that. Just don't have any rice weed for rice weed farming. Food cube, Gohan, and meat wraps. I'm not going to be able to make meat wraps. I don't know what a food cube involves. Power stone refinery, improved stone mining wells too. Greater wells to reach deeper and access more water. Okay. Smithing. Basic weapons. Smooth floating. I'm not worried about training, I don't think, right now. Fabric manufacturer. Hemp based. First aid kits, medical workbench, and standard first aid kits. Hospital crafting, and smoking smithing. Core, sleeping bags, basic first aid. Hmm. Composite runners is one book, and crossbow string, turn strings. Pieces of the power. For slide of the crossbow increases the power by another five. Sound pretty wrong, but careful when it ended up going on the wrong path. Mounted crossbow two is also an ancient science book. Speed, range, reload, and damage. Hmm. I see. Is it not? Oh, it's not powered. Why is it not getting powered? Oh, the wind's just super low right now, I guess. Wow. That's gotta suck for the town, eh? Wait, where are the... Wait. Oh, oh, we're right here. Yeah, those aren't even moving, and ours are barely moving. Okay. A day? Alright, then. Alright, Jesus, if you want to work on this, Soman, you can work on that one. Oh, it needs electricity. Okay. Okay, Jesus, do you want to work on that, then? Efficiency 95%. Alright. Well, in that case... Hmm. Oh, that's right. She's not here, is she? Oh, she's stuck. Um, Soman is apparently stuck back in the fishing village. She phased through a wall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's why she wasn't keeping up with us is because she phased through a wall. All right. All right. That happens, I guess. Um, uh, huh. Can she... Hmm. That is a great question. What can she do? She cannot move very far. Very limited movement. Huh. Is there a way I can, like, get you to... Apparently not. Okay. We'll have to go pick her up, I guess? That's super frustrating. Okay. Okay. I mean, luckily as it stands, we have lots of researching to do, which is fine. Um, got leather. Okay, we don't have any animal skins. We have fabric. Alright, Digna, if you want to, we'll have you work this and that. And then, I guess, Hobbs, you can work the leather. It needs electricity. Are you kidding me? 
apparently this also needs electricity. Everything needs electricity. It's it's all it's all downhill team. <sighs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Dead State Dog or uh, Jesus, come here for a second. Trade with Dead State Dog. Just take like a stack of fish. Give him all of your wheat since you don't you shouldn't be carrying the wheat. Electrical components also can go with him. I don't really need you working on that. So just do that, I guess, for now. You can work the workbench three if it comes up. Otherwise, work on this one. Um, okay, I guess we'll just go get Soman. <laughs> Hopefully, we can pick her up from that thing she's stuck on. I cannot believe we have to run all the way back over here. I can't believe we also don't have any wind power going right now. Not enough wind up in this mountain, apparently. Who would have guessed? The top of mountains? Not very windy. I guess. Alright, let's just speed this along a bit. Keep an eye out for the crew. You know, like we said before, why didn't everyone back in ye olden times just have someone floating 40 feet into the air above them watching in all directions so they wouldn't get ambushed? Idiots. Maroons. Okay. Okay, we got desert cooking, so the next thing should kick in. Okay, baking, yes. Oh, Dead State Dog, I also need you with this group. Okay, just gotta be careful that we don't run into anything that wants to eat us. Like, what is that? What are you? What is it? It is a skeleton. It's just a lone little skeleton. Literally little skeleton. Oh, there's two of them. Never mind. They're not alone. Okay. It's better to travel in packs. That way, if one of them goes down, the other one can run away and come back and heal the other one so they don't bleed out or something. Okay, baking is done. Is power available yet? It is not available. Watch. Absolute fudge. Food bags. Tronics. Crafting fuel generator. Ooh, we can actually get the fuel generator theory going. Advanced cooking industry. Wait, is this thing powered? Actually, maybe it is? We do wells. Spending basic weapon smithing. Hmm. Not really worried about imprisonment. Battery power to electrical crafting. Storage electronics, electrical components. Oh, we can just start making our own electrical components. Which is fine. Fuel generator three. An electricity generator that runs on fuel biofuel, an ancient way of turning crops into general fuel. Choose between electricity or starvation. Um, how long is that gonna take? It's only two books. Distillery, wheat straw, storage fuel. Weirdly, that doesn't require lighting. Ceiling fan, lamp, electrical torch. Electrical torch post, okay. Light post, indoor lighting. Advancement of the study increases battery capacity by 60. Biofuel. Crafting. Maybe we do. We got five books left, so we could do, I guess we could do fuel generator theory and then biofuel. Oh, I guess that was four books, not, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, can you use this? It needs electricity, okay, I guess not. Okay, please literally pick up. 
Okay, now that she's down from there, you can put her down. Um, put down Soman. Okay, great. I guess while we're here, we can double check the store. Let's trade. Oh, there's a bunch of hemp in here. I don't really have much to sell though, and I don't have a lot of money left. Look, this is still the same stuff that was in here before though. Hmm. Oh, it's only 20 bucks a pop. Yeah, we'll just take a stack of this so we can research it or whatever we need to do with it. Grow it at some point. Dosa, rat in a hat. Tala must. Okay. Everybody able to leave this time? No one got stuck on anything? Okay, great. Well, that was happening. At least we were able to get some research done. Hopefully. I don't understand why Dead State Doug is having such a hard time keeping up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is a hungry bandit leader. Okay, hold back for a second. It's kind of tempting. There's only a few of them. What is that two, four, six, seven of them? I think Dead State Doug, you have all of our food, right? Heartily disagree. Okay. No one else has any food on them, right? Oh. Well, Jesus does, but she's not here, so that's okay. Do I want to get them beat up right now, though? I don't really. Everyone's at full health, I guess. Oh, actually, you know what we might be able to do? Make this... Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Okay, everyone. Let's say, Doug, just wait here. Oh, actually, what we need everyone to do... Let's come over here real quick. Okay, everyone take your backpacks off. It's the impede combat. Let's say, Doug stays here else? Try stealth mode? That is far, far away. Okay. Box. Let's try uh, stealth attacking one of them. Funk. Okay. Okay. Flash box. Funk another one. We can just, uh,. them up for now. Okay, Bonk. Hobbs, come pick them up. Flashbox. Oh, I think they saw us. <laughs> I think they saw us on that one. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, no, they did. All right, I don't care what you are, who you are or what you are, I'm taking your food, okay. Uh, who's carrying Soma? Put them down. Nothing, nothing, and nothing, okay. Everyone out of stealth mode. And 
then we... Who's the leader? We'll reband it. We'll reband it. We'll reband it. Did we... Did they not have a leader? Or did we take the leader out somehow? They might have took the leader out somehow, actually. I don't think about it. Uh, okay. Everyone attack this target. We can concentrate our fire. Or not. Okay. Come on, we gotta be able to take down at least one, right? Oh, where did you come from? Focus on this target. No, everybody. What are you guys doing? Everyone focus on this target. Do we want to try to concentrate fire on the one target to put them down? Come on. Keep hitting them. No, no, no. Keep hitting them. Hobbs and Soma not doing a lot of damage. They don't have a ton of hand to hand combat training. Flashbox over here dodging for her life. Trying to help. Come on, palm thrust. There we go. Give it that 66 palm thrust. How about finish me off next time? Okay. Digna wasn't done, apparently. Soma. Someone's down? I don't know what's going on. No? Okay, wait. Everyone regroup over here real quick. Trying to get a feel for what's going on. Okay, and then uh, attack this target. Oh, Soma is down. Okay. Digna is also down. Hobbs is down. Okay, it's down to Flashbox now. Soma's getting back up. So is. Hobbs? They're just healing each other, apparently. Can you attack this target? Oh, Hobbs is down again. At least they're getting a lot of toughness from getting back up during the combat. Okay, Soma's down. Well, it wasn't a successful fight, but at least everyone's going to get a lot of toughness from it. Jesus, why are you not researching anything? Was that all you had? I guess that's all you had. Alright. It's good for Hobbs and Salmon to get the toughness training and some hand-to-hand -hand combat training. and They both did. They were both throwing punches. Oh! Dang, Flashbox actually put one out. Oh, two out! <laughs> wow. Her palm thrust is pretty strong now. She's doing 66 damage per palm thrust. It's just hard for her to get any offense off because they're taking, you know, they're timing their attacks well. She needs to learn some kind of, like, parry move or something so that she can block and attack. Oh, body kick. Oh, but she took a shot for it. Ooh, palm thrust. Oh, but she got hit. Kick. She's trading one for one, which isn't going to work against four bandits. Okay, recovery coma, recovery coma... And recovery coma. Okay, so they are they are recovering just slowly. Flashbox left arm is messed up. Wow, this is sort of insane how long this is lasting. Speed it up a little bit.
They can't hit her. Oh. Oh, hey. Um, cannibal hunters have shown up. Nice. Oh, Flashbox is down. I don't know if we're going to get free healing. Oh, Flashbox is back up. They're healing themselves. Oh, okay, they are helping to heal our group, but only one of them is? I don't like the look of this. Okay. Can't carry anyone with this arm. Okay, they did heal everybody. Great. Fox, if you want to just loot some of them. Problem is, they don't really have anything worth looting other than their weapons, but their weapons aren't really worth much. 50 bucks? Okay, Dead State Doug. Well, you know what? Dead State Doug, stay over there. With our arm broken. Conscious, recovery coma, actively dying, unconscious. The problem is I just have to kind of wait on them now. You have, oh, you do have your bedroll. Okay, we can actually bedroll then. Camping, camp bed, set this up. Problem is, actually, you can just sleep in it, I guess, to help heal your arm faster. As long as you're sleeping. Dead State Doug over here guarding the backpacks. arm is fixed we can put someone else in the bed unless one of them just wake up but stomach chest and stomach okay at four times healing though okay arm is better 13 21 and 21. Okay, put Hobbs. Can you... What? No, no, no. Flash box. Put them up. Put them in the bed. Stand around healing. Playing dead. Recovery coma. Dead and dying. Okay. So they're about recovered. Okay. Then pick up Soma. Put them in the bed. You wait. Digna has not ever been, I don't think, a great fighter, sadly. I was surprised how long Soma and Hobbs both lasted in that fight, though. They did really good. Soma, go grab them, put them in the bed, and then we wait on them to recover. So, <laughs> two random goats going by. Oh, one of them is up. Attack unprovoked. Oh, got him. All right, well, that happened. Wow, they are... Is that the, band, the bandit we just beat up? Oh my god. Yeah, they are toast. Almost lost their arm. Dang. All right. Uh, let's dismantle this. Are you sure? And then Flashbox, you can come get this sleeping bag. All right. Um, Flashbox, pick this one up. Pick this one up. Hobbs, you can pick this one up. 
And Soma picks this one up. All right, and then we head back. All of you head back to Dead State, Doug. Oh, didn't even realize there were some other ones over here. Wolf Den 75 has been wiped out. Are you an insan? Uh, I mean, we lost a fight, but we, we learned a lot, which is also important. One backpack, one backpack, one backpack, and large backpack. Okay. What are they healing here? Who... Wait, why are you healing? What? Who, why are you guys healing the bandit? What? Are they healing the bandit? They are. Why are they healing the bandit? The bandit's not on our team. What? I have Mexican food. I hope it is delicious for you, friendo. There is no reason... So Dead State Dog's stuff is full digna. Actually, let's take all this stuff from them. This one, take all their stuff. Take all their stuff. Honorary team member while on your back? I guess? That's insane. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down down then let's get out of here team before you idiots waste more of my good bandages on idiot nude nude bandits now uh, the reason why is because the module runs on the assumption you want to kidnap said person and you know keep them around oh okay so they just assume that they're valuable if you're bothering to bring them with you i gotcha okay that makes sense i mean relatively makes sense Hey, look, another pack of hungry bandits I don't want to run into right now because we're barely standing. Okay. At least it's extra medic training, though. Well, that's true. But I don't have unlimited bandages. I don't want to... I don't have unlimited bandages. Okay. Okay, hey, Zeus, can you do me a favor and stop standing around like a useless idiot and come over here? And then... The rest of these squads. Let's head uh, back up this way, please. Go ahead and Zeus. Talk to them. Uh, let's trade. We got random furniture still not valuable to us. There's cotton. I don't remember if we researched cotton or not. Take a couple more books. Did we research cotton? See, copper alloy plates is something I thought we were going to need to process. I didn't realize copper was just copper. How's your Mexican food, Ica? Okay, perfect. This is about the time we need to roll over to uh, Garton of Ban Ban anyway. All right. Okay, run back over here real quick for me, please. We can research something else. We have power yet? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, show research. Power battery, electrical crafting, biofuel. Indoor lighting. Upgrade small generator. Further 15 kilowatt upgrade to all small generators. Okay. I believe you. Battery capacity. Life and distillery, wheat straw, storage, okay. Warming. I think we'll... Maybe food cubes? I don't know about that, though. Grog distillery. Grog barrels, grog machine. <laughs> There's a grog machine? A very common alcoholic drink. It could be a good source of income if we could produce it. Sake, sake traditional, alcohol production often. Sake, sake and barrels. Food cubes require green fruit. Okay, we don't have any of that then. Hemp farming requires two hemp. Did I not leave any hemp? Uh, hemp here, by chance? Uh, I 
guess I didn't. I guess I didn't leave any hemp here. Gosh darn it. That's okay. We can do, um, those two. I'm really not worried about that right this second. Uh, let's do biofuels for now. And then there's hemp oil. Hemp oil bottle, bo biofuels. Refining of hemp oil from an alternative method of biofuel production. Okay. Ooh, heavy generator theory. Improve fuel generator larger and more powerful. Upgrade uh, by a better capacity, electrocrafting hemp oil fuel. There we go. Less worried about indoor lighting. Core, some bags, basic first aid kits. Basic medical workbench, new building medic medicrate, basic first aid kit, fabric manufacturing, hemp based fabric, sleeping bags, this will thing for travelers, basic medical workbench. Uh, yeah, we'll do basic first aid kits since those are useful. Okay, we'll study over here then. There's something you can be freaking researching right now. I don't know what it is, but it's, there's something. That's where everybody else better be on their way up back up here. I want all of you with your butts back to town. Oh good, the power is going again. It's more efficient over here, I think. Yeah. A little bit more efficient. Research complete on the biofuel. Hemp oil fuel. Oh good, you're all doing things. Alright. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, wait, 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 okay. Hold on, I want you three. Come over here for a second. Okay. So I'm, uh, you can work on this. Hobbs, come and trade with them. Grab a couple pieces of hemp. So then we can throw it into the hemp visor over here. That way we can potentially research it. Actually, do we want to do that? Yeah, we can probably do that, right? Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay. Oh yeah, what I wanted to check something before we ended on how to make a bed. And farming, food. Grain silo, cooking stove, bread oven, interior. Ah, beds. It requires one building material and four fabrics. Okay. All right, one building material and four fabrics. So we'll have to buy some fabrics before we leave and not actively just immediately put them into something. Let's see, biofuel, biofuel dis distillery turns crops into fuel for generators is six iron plates. Generator is four copper and four iron plates. Okay, that'll be easy to make. That wouldn't be too hard at all. Now that I know that copper doesn't need to be processed, it just comes out of the ground as copper. Tech, roof benches, defensive wall, defensive gate, ramps, food. Grain silo. Grinds wheat straw up into flour for cooking with. That's not what a grain silo does. What? Maybe that's a thing. Maybe there's, maybe that's part of it? An oven for baking bread. I always found it interesting that gas in this world is only biofuel. Well, I mean, if there's no oil, right? Are there, is there any mention of oil? Or maybe the fact that there's no dinosaurs. Because this is like the, what, like sixth or seventh age of this world. Maybe some previous generation took up all the gasoline 
used it all, and so now they have to figure out other ways to make fuel sources. Okay, wheat. So we have wheat farms, small. Medium is 25, so we should be close to being able to make a wheat, a straw medium. Vegetables, cotton farm. Okay, we can do green fruit. So we do know vegetables, I guess? I guess it's not green fruit research. And then farming. Okay, for not to crossbows. But we should know how to cook now. Uh, desert stuff. So that's good. Actually, um... How do I want to do this? Who has the better... Armorsmith 18 on Soma. Armorsmith is 6. Oh, okay. So Digna, come over there and do that. Uh, Soma, go do that. Palms, you can do this. There we go. Since Hobbs has a negative 2 to Armorsmithing, we don't really need him making uh, armor. Cactus cactus sandwich. Love it. Uh, I guess Flash Fox, if you want to come buy like two more books so we can do hemp research or whatever, hemp farming. Do business. Business, business. Looks like business to me. Cactus. Oh, we can also pick up some more straw while we're here. Just go for the big straw. Does it put all the armor smithing on one person so you can scale your grades higher? Okay. Advanced outpost blueprints. Large building shells. Support beams. I guess these are like interior things? More useless furniture to clog up your house with. <laughs> yep. Basic furniture. Okay. Oh, there's the fabric we're also going to need. If we want to make our own bed or whatever. Okay. Oh. Okay, research that. Trade with them. Really? We're just maxed out now? Are we, though? Are we, though? Or is this just really inefficiently packed in here? I'm thinking it's probably just really inefficiently packed. Okay, so we do this. Just bring this over here for a second. That. Okay, that. Probably fine. Store that with you. And we need to put the books into the book machine. The book of fire. Uh, crafting. Farming. And then hemp farming. Get hemp farming going. So, okay, we can get rid of that. Let's turn those ones off for now. Okay, we're almost done. Digna had six. Soma has 18. Cobbs, Soma, go ahead and work on that. Digna, help out with the research. Pretty quick. Triple speed. Let's see. Okay. Try to concentrate all of the armor smithing on one person. And farming's almost done. Okay, great. Okay, he 
as soon as you can go back to this and that. Worry about that right now. And then everybody else uh, come outside. So make sure you're not doing anything stupid. Okay, we have plenty of this. Guess we could snag a couple of these fabrics. So we have the five we need for building a bed. Probably fine. Then, I'm trying to think what else we're gonna need to do. Guess we can just go ahead and start farming a uh, stone. And, uh,. Farming stone and sell it. Try to make some more money back before we go back to town or back to cannibal country. Because now we have enough stuff for getting the farming going. 510. So that's what? That's 15 of these. So that's good. 15 of these. Be fine. This is three wide, right? Yeah. Oh, no, that's two. Man. The fish with the fish. What do we want to do next time? I guess while Jesus is making hats, we could probably have everyone else go down and start just mining up uh, all the iron ore we can. We could start doing that. We could just sell a bunch of it when we can get back to town, buy a bunch of food, and then head back out to cannibal country. Since we've done so much research. Really, the only downside out there is that we, can, we can't get a hold of books easily. Maybe we just build up a bunch of money, and then in, after the next couple of days, we just go buy a whole stack of, like, 35 books and take, us with, take it with us out there to do research with. So that we can make iron plates, and we can make copper, and we can make uh, building material. We can do the rest of it out there. But if we want to research new things, we have to have books with us. We've got enough hemp now to make a hemp farm and enough wheat to make wheat farms. Um, and then if we can start building all the, like, biofuel generators and stuff, we'll be able to power everything. We'll have the wind power and biofuel power, so we'll have power for everything. That shouldn't be an issue. Then we got to get the cooking going, and we'll have food, and we don't have to worry about water because no one in this planet, you know, drinks water. So if that's the case, we should be we have become pretty self-dependent de now. If we can get the crossbows working and figure out that, all that stuff, the only thing, other thing we're going to have to worry about then is going to be going and getting ancient science books so we can build better crossbows and um, potentially better mining equipment, I think. But yeah. I mean, once we get the food, if, if we can stabilize our food production, which it seems like we can at this point, we can then officially start hiring more people. Because then we don't have to worry about paying for food. We can just start making our own food, which is great. <laughs> like, we can start making the cactuses we have into cactus sandwiches. And, you know, that kind of thing. And then anything we're not making into food, we can pump into the, the biofuel to have power for the, the place. Add in the wind power to cover the differences. I think we'll be pretty self-dependent uh, out there. It just then comes down to building up defenses so that we can just pelt anybody who shows up with uh, turrets or whatever. So once we're dependent, or, or self, self-reliant, we'll say self-reliant out there, we should be able to, uh, I guess, just start focusing on combat training and, and exploring to get the ancient science books. And we will have built our own little town. And then all we really have to do after that is just go into town once in a while to sell stuff to make money so we can hire people. And that won't be hard. We'll be able to uh, produce uh, 
fabrics and potentially just biofuel, which if biofuel is usually pretty expensive, we can just go into town and sell that at the fish at the fish camp. So I think we're we're getting close to being completely dependent so that we can eventually launch a full on assault on the on the holy nations. Which my plan right now for that to work is to where is it? There are a bunch of yeah, there's these holy farms just on the other side of the mountain range here. I think our first attack is going to be probably something along the lines of just sneaking in and seeing what we can do to the holy farms. Seeing if, like, we need to actually beat up people or just sneak in, assassinate a bunch of farmers and, like, steal all their food or something. We also still got to talk to the Flotsam Ninjas to, to find out who we need to assassinate or take out. And then after that, it's just doing it. Oh, apparently someone's about to attack Cannibal Country? <laughs> Even though there's nobody there? Good for them. Good for them. Jesus? Where are you going, Jesus? I don't know where Jesus is going. They just ran off into the distance. Alright. Yeah, we'll call her there. Save. Uh, getting iron ore. Iron. Iron ore. For the money. The money. For the books. For, for all books. All books. There we go. Getting iron ore for the money for all the books. I think I like it. Alright, so that'll take care of that, everybody. That was a that was a that was a pretty productive day. We got a lot of experience trying to figure out the crossbows and how busted our uh, entranceway into the town is. So that's nice. Um We've also almost got a hundred stealth now on everybody, which is also sort of insane. I would say all in all, uh, we're, we're forming quite the little little attack unit. I would, I would, I would, I would feel comfortable saying that. If we can just get our actual hand to com hand to hand combat skills up a little bit, I think uh, we'll be in a good place. Uh, all the lurkers, of course. Thank you. You have the Twitch will go around. We always appreciate you. Anybody that checks the VODs here on Twitch or checks the VODs on the YouTube repository, thank you. It's always greatly appreciated. Seeing those numbers helps keep me motivated. If you need a well-thought-out solution or you need a thinking solution, Raven Hillbrook Inc., Thinking Solutions. I think that'll be it for me, everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bye.